Hey guys, Chris here, and welcome to another GBS video. Now, I know that I've been very mum on a lot of these subjects that are coming out, but I'm hoping to catch my channel up with a lot of this stuff and my opinions on things because you guys care about my opinion, right? That's why you're here, right? No? Hmm. Alright, well, I'll give it to you anyway. So in this video, I wanted to talk about Marvel and their decision to go with Ultron as a villain for Avengers 2 as opposed to the popularly thought of character Thanos because of his appearance at the end of 1. And there's actually a rumor going around that in order to get Robert Downey Jr. to sign on again, he demanded that his part in the Avengers 2 and 3 had to be bigger than I guess what was planned for him to sign on, aka out with Thanos and with him building Ultron. Now I'm not sure about the validity of these claims, they may be completely false or there might be hints of truth to them. He is one of the only actors, if not the only actor, that has creative control in that decision. But in my heart I really don't think that that's the way he went, that it went or how he even wanted it to go. I generally think Joss Whedon thought that for the better of the comic book movies and his comic book movies, he should have Ultron a more grounded in reality villain, a more plausible villain, instead of another cosmetic, cosmos alien attack scenario. Now Thanos is a character that will most likely be the villain in the third movie, and he might have even been planned for number two, but as scripts happen and they get fleshed out, I think Ultron was the better choice, and I'll explain why. However he's made, whether the government makes them, or Hank Pym makes them, or Tony Stark makes them, it's a more science fiction based element. In the first movie, we had an Asgardian from another realm bring a different alien race into New York, and the Avengers had to stop it, and I thought that was really cool. I mean, aliens invading New York. How much times have we seen aliens invading Earth in the movies? But this is like the first one where a team of superheroes fights alongside the army. That's That was a key uh, thing to stop the uh, aliens. And I thought that was really cool. But if they bring Thanos in, it'd pretty much be the same thing. In fact, if they brought Thanos in, then you would want Loki and all this stuff. And it'd almost be a rehashing. And... I think Ultron's a better fit for that. When he comes out, he's made from technology, keeps adapting, maybe Tony Stark makes him, or helps make him, and maybe he wears the Iron Man suit at first, and you know, that'd be cool. That would be really cool, and I really think that they went in the uh, right direction with that. For Thanos, I think we'll see him in Avengers 3. I think we'll see him with Loki. I think we'll see him possibly cameo, maybe Thanos brings him back to life with the Infinity Gauntlet, or... Maybe he never dies because Ultron never dies, you know? Maybe it'll be a big movie where, you know, that's kind of like the finale of their phases because I, you know, they're going to have to keep re-signing people, giving them money. But I've always felt like they had to end it soon and I think that Avengers 3 would be the best. And I also think that they should pause it a little, a little longer from 2015 instead of making the third one in 2018, pausing it, giving Star Wars episode, let's say, uh, Eight in 2018 and having Avengers 3, the finale, 2019, Thanos, Loki again, all these big things. Thanos was too big of a villain for number two, so I really like the uh, step in the direction that they went with Ultron, a machine, an adaptive machine, someone that can take on all of the creatures, I mean creatures, all of the superheroes, and then some and give people time to shine. Ultron's a character that doesn't have to be too deep to be effective, he's a killer. He's an adaptive thing, and the biggest thing that'll be tacked onto him is how he's built, and then how the Avengers react to him. So that'll give the team a lot of room to grow, because he doesn't have all these motivations and all these plot stories behind him. He's here, he's badass, let's kill him. So, that's my thoughts. GBS videos, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Peace.